Retirement is not for some of us. Tis sad, but true. Some of us will never retire. May never retire. We retire when we die. Welcome to Vivi's View. What's up? What's up, people? What's up? <laughs> I know a guy who does that. He says, what's up? Anyway. Retirement is not going to be something that some of us share. And the reason why I'm saying this is because life has changed after the recession and God knows what else. And some of us are having to work until we drop. It is sad, but true. You know, I see people at my job and I am really thankful that they're not being fired. They're in the union and they're going because if you retire and you don't have a proper package, now you have to go and look for, for work at maybe Trader Joe's or, you know, one of these places. So people feel like, you know, what if I go to Trader Joe's and they don't want me because I'm old. I'm really old. So they don't retire. They just go and they go and they go until sometimes they take in at the right at the job, you know, like where I work, it's a hospital. And sometimes you see something on by the elevator saying that so-and-so passed away. There was one time I was going to the basement. I heard this big commotion and one of the guys who was working there, he took in right on the job. And, you know, sometimes we feel sorry about these things, but this is what's happening to us in life. We don't have enough for a retirement package. And if we come off of working, whatever money we, we are making, we are bringing in four, five, six, seven, eight, a thousand dollars. When they give you a retirement package, it doesn't resemble that, right? Remember when you go off on disability and you have to do surgery and this kind of thing? You know, the check is never the same like what you would make if you were at work. And so that is what has been powering people to stay on the job. And I tell you, sometimes I feel so bad for us. I feel so bad because I see people on their last leg, if you will, struggling, dragging their feet, overweight, tired, burdened, you know? It's a sad state of life, isn't it? For those of us who can start planning from now because we're younger, don't take life for granted. You got to start putting that 401, you know, 403 in play. You got to start thinking about an, an annuity package. Don't wait for the last moment. I see doctors working and they're supposed to have been retired. You know what? It's a great thing that jobs are not kicking you out. When you're in the healthcare industry, they do not kick you out. In other industry, they don't want to be bothered with you. They kick you out because they want the younger generation. So healthcare has some props. That much I must say about them. But we have to be prepared. We have to be prepared that if today or tomorrow we have to retire, we have to retire. There's no choice. Some people have plans to go on. And don't get me wrong. There's another thing that happens. Sometimes when we retire, we don't make it. We just die because our bodies are so accustomed to getting up at 430 and 5 and all these crazy hours. When you just lay in the bed and sleep for too long, everything that was, you know, Dermans suddenly start rising up like cancer and all these different things, right? And before you know it, you're gone before you could blink. I say retirement is something that we should have planned like every year. It must be something where we say, you know what? I am going to retire from the job for a month. I'm going to take a vacation, uh, you know, and I'm going to go somewhere with my family for three weeks. 
Stop planning for a retirement at the end of your life and not living in between. Let's live every single day not knowing what tomorrow is going to bring. We plan all these plans and all these plans. I know a friend in church who used to talk about how when she retires, she's going to go down south. She's going to do this. She's going to buy a house. And then Mr. Cancer stepped in. She's gone. I've heard from people at work where, you know, the father talked at how, you know, he's working, 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 stockpiling all this money and that he's going to go to Florida. He's going to buy a house when he retires and retired. And before you say knife, gone. We have to plan not for retirement, but just to enjoy our lives as we go along. And I know that we are forced into having to work, but you know what? That might be a good solution that might keep us longer here. But just make plans the right way, you know? Don't spend all the money. Put some of it into 401. Put some of it into annuity. Put some into disability. You know, you got to spread out the money. So at least if you go down, you're not in your 60s and 80s going to the welfare office begging for some food stamps when you know you work so hard. And don't think it's a joke. Because when you look at the vets and the Navy and the Marine guys, they come and they're in the street homeless because, you know, nobody's taking care of them. It's not, it's not impossible for us to end up in the street. So we have to start planning now and plan the right way, okay? So I just want to thank you again. You had a choice. You could have gone somewhere else. You could have gone to somebody else's video. And I am so loving it that you chose me. Thank you so much for hanging with me. If you love what I said, just hit the share button. You know, sharing is caring or caring is sharing, whatever, right? Comment and hit the subscribe button so I can send you some more, you know, notifications when I, and, and when I have them. All right? It's been a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.